Hi everyone, I'm JD, welcome back to my channel. Alright, so in this video I'm going to do a bit of a tutorial on all the types of book page embellishments that I like to make. And this is uh, kind of a response to two requests for my 1000 subscriber milestone. One was to see more tutorials on embellishments and ephemera and another request was to see how I deconstruct a book and use all the pages in it and make a journal. So I've got a book here and I will be making a journal out of it and I've already taken out quite a lot of pages so I have been making as you can see all of these different embellishments just trying to uh, see if it works, experiment with a few different ideas and I'll show you what I've come up with <laughs> um, and yeah I will continue like taking out every single page and making embellishments with these so I thought in, at this step, part of the process I'll put the camera on before all the pages are gone and then what I'll do after this I'll show how I uh, then gut the book even though there's no pages anymore um, and then how I use the book to make a journal but for now let's just do the tutorial um, so I'll show you the different ones I've made some of them you may have seen before when I've already shown them on my channel but the most basic one that I like to do is envelopes and I've done sewing with these ones, but you can definitely use double-sided tape or glue. Uh, but for these ones, I've done sewing. So just your general envelope. And yeah, I'll show you, every single one of these, I'll show you how to do it in this video. Even though I may have shown it in a previous video, I'll just do it all in this one video so it's all in one place for you guys. So envelopes. And yeah, the, all of these as well, you can kind of experiment with how big and small you make them depending on uh, if you do it lengthwise or height wise with the page uh, for example you can cut this shorter the flap make it longer or whatever um, have a longer envelope um, and by the way this book is a book of bush songs ballads and other verse so it's, it's laid out a lot like poetry and so it's a safe book to use for embellishments like this and um, <laughs> yeah anyway I have also made these pocket ones inspired by Wendy Mason and Krista Neal uh, so it's a three pocket one um, I should get some tags or something so I can show you how I hang on a second <laughs> let me get a basket of ephemera here so I can just show you when it comes to it, the pockets, so one there, one there, and then when you stick it on the page, you can get one there too. So there's those ones, and then there's the side version of it, where, because it's narrower though, there's only two pockets, but one there, and then one there, but you get longer versions of that. Um, and then this one is a pocket here, like that. And then you can also, depending on how you stick it to the page, either glue it here and there, and then you have a nice large tuck spot like that, or a tuck spot here, or a tuck spot there, depending on which way you want to glue that onto the page. Also, I might want to double side sticky tape that here, or here, to give me either a pocket there, or a pocket here. Obviously I'd use a a smaller tag or something so something like that or that <laughs> um, and then this is just a side version of that so you can kind of see it's the same principle but instead of doing it vertically I've done it on the side so that you've got the pocket here and then I've already sewed this one I put the flap further down so when I sewed it it caught the flap and it's already sewn and same thing, you could have a pocket there, pocket there, or the pocket there. <laughs> um, and then I've done just a double pocket here, so one here and one behind. Or again, depending on how you glue it onto the page, one like that. And then I've got this one, which is pocket here and a pocket here. And then again, the same thing wherever you want to glue it. This one is, I don't think I have a small enough tag. Hang on. Oh, I do. I do, I think. So we've got a pocket there. 
Isn't that cute actually? Oh, how adorable is that? And then we've got a pocket here and also a pocket there and one there if you want as well and then the same thing behind and then I just had a bit of an experiment and I tried something like this and you could do a pocket here and it slides out or you could double side tape that one and it's just a pocket there and then you have like a let me get something bigger a larger pocket here um, so it could stick out like that so you can see it or there or you can even double side that down so it's glued there or glued there depending on which direction you want the pocket and then again behind however you want that and the last one that I experimented with is this one it's very similar to the previous one I shared but instead of this flap going all the way across you have the separated pocket one there and then one here or there depending on where you glue it and then the same thing at the back <laughs> all right so that, they're my ideas I've come up with so far let's get into um, the tutorial part of this video I've got such a small table it's a bit tricky <laughs> okay so grab your book and I literally just rip out the pages <laughs> So let's rip out a whole bunch. <laughs> my little Keanu's having a fun play running around my room. He's got a little fluffy mouse toy in his mouth right now. It's so cute. I love how he prances and bounds about my room holding a toy in his mouth. Now he's got his yellow mouse which has a long tail that rustles when he plays with it. He's got both that one and the little toy mouse in his mouth. And I love it how he kind of rolls onto his back and clutches the mouse like this and he holds it with his paws. It's so adorable. Okay, so let's see. Let's grab a page. So what I do for an envelope, let's do this one first. I could go this way and have an envelope like that and it's a very small envelope and but I have two of them so I cut it down there and they've got one envelope there one envelope there but what I've been doing for mine to get the largest size is pull, folding this one up and you can fold it as high as you want so I'm gonna <laughs> I literally just eyeball it and I'm gonna fold mine about there and then you fold the top flap down and the great thing about this size of book page is that you don't have to cut the flap down um, you could if you want it shorter but you can just fold it however you want so that there's no cutting involved that way I, I'm just going to tidy up these edges here and use the writing as a guide to know where to cut like that. So there is the envelope and obviously you can glue that, double side tape that or um, sew it. For the sake of this video uh, let's go with double sided tape. <laughs> so yeah this was probably the very first embellishment that I've ever made so super super easy and I love doing this with music paper especially um, and also you can just use any any book page really botanical pages children's book pages with the illustrations I'm gonna try to get more into that at the moment I've only been using text or music paper and it doesn't matter what size page you have, you can just cut it, cut it down to make any size envelope that you want. So, oh hello Ke Keanu, Keanu <laughs> just jumped onto my back again, wanting cuddles. So there it is. And then I just distress the edges with this particular kind um, to just give it more dimension. And then of course 
I mean, you could do whatever you want. You could add flowers and bling, and um, sometimes I decoupage mine with the napkins. Um, you know, go crazy collaging and decorating the envelope, but this is just the base of how to make it. So that is the envelope. All right. <laughs> I mean, super basic, but let's start off with the easier ones and move our way up. So the next one, let's do the simple pocket, which is exactly the same as the envelope pretty much. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go this way this long way and then I'm going to just trim across the top to get that straight edge and then I'm going to get two so again I'm just going to eyeball it and go there so one's a bit bigger one's a bit smaller just to show yeah you can make it as wide as you want or as narrow as you want and then I'll just do the one but again I would double side tape that and um, or sew it but actually let me do this first because once it is glued down or stuck down however you want to do that you can't really do the distressing on the edge that you've glued down so you want to make sure you do that before you <laughs> glue it down but again you don't need to distress it this is just if you want like if I'm doing um, if I'm doing the what's it called napkin I wouldn't distress the edges um, and if I'm gonna just decorate it, you know with layers and fabric or other things then <laughs> I wouldn't distress the edges either necessarily but just to show you so getting all the edges that will be seen. But yeah, I like the simple look too, just for something a bit more plain in the journal, a bit more vintage looking. Like you don't always need to dress things up all the time. <laughs> and I, as you can see, I'm not the best at distressing. I'm still getting used to it. <laughs> but I don't mind, the whole point is it's distressed. It's not supposed to be perfect. And I'll grab my double sided tape. Oop, we've got enough. So this is quite wide tape, so this is, I just cut it in half, like down the, I turn it into two strips to make it last longer and also so that there's more room in the pocket because sometimes you want to put quite a large tag or journal card in the pocket and you're like oh no I can't it's too narrow <laughs> so that is the <laughs> double pocket all right let's do the triple pocket next which is really fun that one's got a bit of a rip in it so I'm not going to use that one okay so I'm just going to make this straight edge Oh my gosh, can you see Keanu? Look at him! <laughs> there are two, um... <laughs> Hi, honey. Hi, baby. How are you? <laughs> There's like a little platform bit here underneath the table. There's two. One up really high underneath glass and one a bit further down. And he's, he's now able to leap up onto those tiny little platforms and balance there and sit there. <laughs> I didn't realise he could jump up and reach that top one without the chair to get up on it first. I know he jumps up onto the bottom one a lot, but that's the first time I've seen him jump onto the top. Oh my gosh, that looks so funny. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. All right, so he, it's a bit of a tricky. So what you do is go, uh, depends which way you want it, if you want the words upside down on this part or that part. So I'm going to fold this one up quite high and there's my first pocket there. And then I'm going to fold this bottom part up again to whatever height I want it. <laughs> and 
and then I've got my pocket there, pocket there, ooh, and pocket there. And again, you could keep it that wide and just clip it into a journal, have it on the side, or if you want it, <laughs> look at him, it's so cute. Or if your page is narrow, narrower and you want to put it this way, then all I would do is just cut it down to size using the words as a guideline. And just to show you the edges, you definitely want to distress it before you glue it down because there's a lot of folds in this one. I do love my Distress Ink. Thank you so much Carol for sending me this all the way from Canada. My goodness. Absolutely amazing gift. Finally using it. Um, and I was using vintage vintage photo a lot and I'm like why is this taking forever I I was getting so frustrated with um distressing things because I'm like it takes forever <laughs> I was like how do people do this and then I realized that when I switched to this one the ink is so much more wet and applies much quicker and is yeah you can nut these out really quick and it's it's not a struggle like before I was just going oh, da, 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 da. why is this not fun <laughs> and now I know it was just running out <laughs> so I've used that one a lot and now I'm moving on to walnut stain which is darker makes it a bit more dramatic <laughs> Keanu <laughs> Oh, he is having fun running around. <laughs> okay, so let's do the double sided tape. So I'm going to grab this one first. Oh my goodness, did you see that? He tried to jump onto the table. He didn't quite make it, but he is getting so agile. <laughs> he is getting so incredibly agile, and I am like in awe of how far and how high he can jump. Hey, beautiful. Oh, oh, honey. Oh, he really wants to come onto the table. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, once I get a bigger desk, I will love having him up here with me. Well, maybe not love it. He might just crawl over everything. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. He just, it makes me feel like he wants to be close to me. <laughs> you know, like if he wants to be where I am, see what I'm doing. So fun. Whenever I go out of the room, if he's asleep or playing, he always, you know, wakes up or stops playing to see where I am. Hang on, he's coming up from behind. He's on the chair behind me now. He's on a mission to get on this table, I tell ya. <laughs> so there's the try pocket. Come here, kitty. You say hello. You say hello. <laughs> you say hello, Bubby. Oh, Yes, you're adorable. Slight distraction, sorry guys. <laughs> he's, the, he's the priority though. Gotta look after him first. <laughs> All right. So the next one, let's do this one, the side one. Oh, he does love playing with my distress inks. I let him play with them sometimes. Um, I just put them on the floor, and he chases them all around. He just pats them with his paw and chases them. It's so cute. <laughs> oh, you adorable Keanu. Alright, so I'm going to use the full length of this page. Hang on. He's right in the way, isn't he? <laughs> Alright, I need you to move over, puppy. Here we go. Here we go. Alright, so I'm just going to... <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> Alright, all I do is just fold it. I mean, it's super simple, seriously. <laughs> Alright. I'm just going to fold it about there. Again, eyeball it however far you want it. And then my page is probably going to be not that tall in a journal. 
depending on what size, but usually it's not that size. Hey, hey, no. So I'm going to just cut it a little bit. All right, honey. All right. Down again. <laughs> okay, so just to stress the edges, I think I'll just do this just to show the. If I'm not going to decorate it, I want to distress it so that you can see the edges where they are. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Yeah, sometimes I go a bit overboard with my distressing and then I have to kind of... Like this one, did you see? <laughs> I went overboard and I was like, oh well, to fix that I just got to make the whole thing brown. <laughs> I don't mind. It's all just fun to experiment and see different looks anyway. Alright, so there is my... <laughs> oh dear. My long pocket. So I'm just going to use the double side tape on these short edges. Playing with his mouse again. <laughs> All right. So that is that one. All right. Let's move on to um. Hang on. Let me grab my page. Let's move on to this one and this one. Let's just do one of these. I'll do this one here. So basically what I do is I'm going to fold it across this way, all the way, in half, and then I literally just get this flap and I fold it down like a triangle. And you can either do it here or all the way to the edge, depending on if you want a pocket there or there. So I'm going to do it just a little bit because I want a pocket here. Now I'll tidy up the edge. And then when I do my... All right, I'm going to see if I can save time because my camera will cut out half an hour. So let's just go straight to the double side tape to show you where I put it. So I open it up and I'm just going to put it along the bottom edge and if you were sewing this is just to show you which edges you know sometimes it can be confusing <laughs> where you're supposed to glue it together or join it together then I'm going to put one on this edge here and one just this little tiny bit here Okay, peel all that off. And then refold that over. And then I'm going to pull this flap up and I want the pocket there. If you want the pocket down here, you'd obviously stick that one down, but I'm going to stick this part down here. Okay, so then I have my pocket here and my pocket here. So that is that one. And if I want to just do it the, you know, the horizontal way, I would just fold it up like this and then fold that one down. 
so let me work out which way I want it. I want that way, the, that one the right way up. Fold it in half upways and then fold that one down. So I'm going to do this one all the way to the edge for something different because then I've got that pocket on the side there anyway. Did I say I was only going to do one of these? Let's just do both because they are a little bit different. They give a different look to the page. So one you could put the hole at the bottom, this one in a corner somewhere maybe. And yeah, I won't show the double sided tape but it's literally the same as this, just the different <laughs> orientation. So, oh! <laughs> now, let's do this one. No, oh, which one, which one, which one? <laughs> I think I've lost it. Where have I put that? Did it fall on the floor? Yeah, let's do this one first and then we'll do this one. And then we've got this one and this one. So I've got four more to go. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get those all done in one video. So I reckon I will stop the video here and <laughs> now I'm trying to find. There it is. So these four. I will share in the next video. How about that? How to do these ones. Alright, cool. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching. Uh, I will see you very shortly. I'll just pick up right where I left off and um, start filming. So, bye guys.